the Apex Predator, the Legend Killer, the Viper. These are all menacing names fit for a dangerous man, which is why they are perfect for Randy Orton. Orton is now a veteran in the WWE and has had a long, illustrious career filled with major title wins and legendary storylines. He certainly lived up to his legacy as a third generation superstar and is cherished by fans despite mostly being a heel. At the time of this video, Randy is currently out with injury, but he's set to return very soon. With that, here's Wrestling Origins, Randy Orton. Randall Keith Orton was born on April 1st, 1980 in Knoxville, Tennessee. He was raised in Missouri with his two younger siblings and parents. Both Randy's father and his father before him were professional wrestlers, Bob Orton Jr. and Bob Orton Sr. respectively, and Randy's uncle is also the wrestler turned musician Barry Orton. As you can see, Orton comes from an extremely talented family. This also meant that from a young age, Orton knew that a career in wrestling came with a ton of trade-offs, like rarely being home with your family, being on the road year-round, and having very few days off. Despite Orton's parents urging him to stay away from wrestling, Randy simply loved it too much. He grew up around wrestling and wrestling culture, and even remembers when Rowdy Roddy Piper and Andre the Giant used to visit his home when he was a kid. Orton would first take up amateur wrestling at Hazelwood Central High School in Missouri, though never pursued it in college. The reason for this? Well, Orton didn't actually go to college. After graduating high school in 1998, Randy enlisted with the US Marines. However, in typical bad boy Randy fashion, he was given a bad conduct discharge just one year after joining. Now, this is different from a dishonorable discharge, as it is slightly less severe, but not something to be proud of nonetheless. Orton received his discharge for deserting on two different occasions, as well as for disobeying a direct order from a commanding officer. Under the Uniform Code of Military Justice, Randy was tried and convicted by a special court-martial, and proceeded to spend 38 days in a military prison. Now essentially kicked out of the military, Orton turned to his family heritage. Randy's father had taught him the basics, and his family name carried enough weight that Orton believed he could make it as a wrestler. Orton made his wrestling debut in the year 2000 at the Mid-Missouri Wrestling Association Southern Illinois Conference Wrestling after further training from his father and those of the promotion. He wrestled there for one month, competing against wrestlers like Ace Strange and Mark Bland, while also refereeing a few matches for World Organized Wrestling at the same time. Very soon after, Orton agreed to an offer by WWE, which sent him to Ohio Valley Wrestling. He would continue his training here and would develop as a wrestler. He would have notable matches against Rico Constantino and The Prototype, aka John Cena. He would win the OVW Hardcore Championship fairly quickly by defeating Mr. Black in February of 2001, and once again from Flash Flanagan in May later that year. Orton would quickly rise the ranks and would start competing on house shows in 2001 as well. His first was on May 1st, where he faced Billy Gunn, though was defeated. From there, Orton would compete regularly on house shows and dark matches, though usually as part of a tag team. 2001 was a huge year for Orton, not only for the fact he was rising up in the company, but also since he was named Pro Wrestling Illustrated's Rookie of the Year, a tremendous honor. By mid-2002, Orton was working as a wrestler full-time for WWE and made a televised debut on SmackDown on May 31st of that year against Hardcore Holly. It didn't take long for Orton to become a fan favorite, and before long he was shifted over to Raw. Unfortunately, just as Orton was picking up steam, he was sidelined with a shoulder injury. This would be the start of Orton's heel run, as he would regularly disrupt the show to update fans on his medical progress with his special news bulletins. When he returned in May 2003, Orton was recruited to join up with Triple H, Ric Flair, and Batista as part of the infamous Evolution. Orton would capture his first title here in WWE on December 14, 2003, where he defeated Rob Van Dam for the Intercontinental Championship. Orton would have a 7 month long reign, which was extremely impressive for anybody, let alone a newcomer. Evolution would become the most powerful stable in the WWE at one point, with every men's championship available on Raw held by its members. During his run as champion, Orton became known as the Legend Killer after defeating many veterans such as Sergeant Slaughter, Jake the Snake Roberts, and even Mick Foley. Not only did Randy defeat these legends, but he was extremely disrespectful and confrontational, not to mention cocky and arrogant. Despite this, however, Orton defeated many in his fabled Legend vs Legend Killer matches. Orton would reign as Intercontinental Champion until Vengeance in July of 2004, where he dropped the title to Edge. However, after losing this belt, Orton quickly became number one contender for the World Heavyweight Championship, the belt Triple H had lost, after winning a battle royal. At SummerSlam that year, Randy Orton would face Chris Benoit for the World Heavyweight Championship, and won. Orton became the youngest person ever to hold the title in WWE history at the young age of just 24. Though he earned Benoit's respect, things didn't go over so well with his Evolution teammates. Triple H and the others turned on Randy on Raw, brutally beating him after a fake celebration of his victory. This would lead to Orton standing up to Hunter and feuding with his former stablemates. 
Randy would face Triple H a month later where he would lose the championship and would spend months chasing it only to be defeated by Triple H on numerous occasions. By 2005, Orton had given up on his world title ambitions and moved to prove himself by ending the Undertaker streak at WrestleMania. Though quick to run his mouth about Undertaker, Orton would cower and run whenever he saw signs of the dead man. Orton gave it his all, and despite help from his father, The Undertaker prevailed to go 13-0. After Mania, Randy was sidelined once again with a shoulder injury suffered during the match, and wasn't seen again until the WWE Draft Lottery of 2005 where he went to SmackDown and continued to feud with The Undertaker. This culminated with another defeat, but this time in a Hell in a Cell match. In 2006, Orton feuded with Rey Mysterio. This feud was memorable as Randy made some controversial remarks about the late Eddie Guerrero, which many found to be in bad taste. Mysterio would defeat Orton at WrestleMania 22 in a triple threat match to win the World Heavyweight Championship from Kurt Angle. In April 2006, Randy Orton was suspended for 60 days for unprofessional conduct. Straight from the horse's mouth, Orton said he had anger problems and had a few outbursts on the road. He also says though that he attended an anger management clinic where he learned to control himself. Here he also realized that in many of the situations, he was in the wrong. Orton said that he had developed a reputation of being a dick and hard to work with, but he's since gotten better. Over the course of the next year, Orton would have a notable Legend vs Legend Killer match with Hulk Hogan in August 2006, get suspended for violating the wellness policy that same month, form the infamous rated RKO team with Edge to defeat DX, and defeat Shawn Michaels at Judgment Day. During this time, Orton became known for his cold, calculated attacks on other superstars, and earned himself the nickname The Viper. In July of 2007, Randy went after the WWE Championship, which meant a feud with John Cena. After multiple matches that ended in DQ, Orton was awarded the WWE Championship after Cena vacated due to injury. Orton would go on to lose this title to Triple H promptly, only to regain it in a last man standing match. Randy would reign as WWE Champion for a while until he lost the belt to Triple H at Backlash. When he tried to regain it at one night stand, Randy broke his clavicle and was sidelined yet again. Just as Orton was set to return, he got re-injured in a motorcycle accident. This would delay his return until September of 2008, where he would criticize all the champions on the brand. This led to the tag team champions, Ted DiBiase Jr. and Cody Rhodes, wanting to earn Orton's respect. From there, the stable known as The Legacy was formed, which mainly consisted of Orton, Rhodes, and DiBiase. Legacy would dominate Raw throughout 2009 and 2010. The best part of this run was his feud with the McMahons in my opinion. Orton would call out Stephanie McMahon and was nearly fired on screen, but Orton threatened legal action. This feud really heated up when Shane McMahon returned and brutally attacked Orton. This led to a few matches between the two with Orton coming out on top. At one point, Orton punted Shane in the head, leaving him incapacitated, and as Stephanie came out to tend to her brother, Randy hit her with an RKO. That's when Triple H got involved. As it turned out, this was all the master plan of Orton as a way to get back at Triple H for kicking him out of evolution all those years ago. According to Orton, Hunter ruined his life so he was going to destroy everything Triple H cared about to get even. A lengthy series of matches ensued, which had Orton winning the WWE Championship from Triple H, only to lose it and regain it a few times in the span. By early January, Legacy began having problems after Orton was disqualified for interference by his protégés. This culminated with the group imploding, and Orton defeating the two in a triple threat match at WrestleMania 26. Over the next little while, Orton would feud with Sheamus, Wade Barrett, The Miz, and CM Punk, who he defeated at WrestleMania 27. Randy Orton was drafted to SmackDown in the 2011 WWE Draft, where he would receive a title opportunity against Christian. Orton would win, netting him a second World Heavyweight Championship. He would, however, lose his title shortly after to Mark Henry. Throughout the next couple years, Orton would feud with Kane, Sheamus, Alberto Del Rio, and Dolph Ziggler to name a few. Things were looking good until Orton suffered a concussion at the hands of Daniel Bryan in February of 2012. In May of that year, Randy was also suspended for 60 days for violating the WWE wellness policy once again. By the time December rolled around, Randy was injured yet again, but this time by The Shield. Orton would return later that month to help fight off The Shield by helping Ryback and Sheamus. This led to an uneasy partnership between The Viper and The Celtic Warrior, who along with Big Show faced The Shield at WrestleMania 29. Here, The Shield would prevail, which caused Big Show to knock out his partners. From there, Orton would keep going at The Shield, but wasn't successful for the most part. This did lead to a memorable feud with Daniel Bryan though, where Bryan came out victorious. On July 14, 2013, Randy Orton won the Money in the Bank ladder match. Just over a month later, Orton would cash in on the newly crowned WWE Champion Daniel Bryan after Triple H hit him with a pedigree. This would lead to another uneasy alliance, this time between Randy and The Authority. The Authority would use underhanded tactics to keep Randy as champion as long as they could, and even allowed him to unify the belt into the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. 
Eventually though, Orton lost it and was unable to regain it. After some back and forth tension between Orton and fellow authority member Seth Rollins, the two had a match where Randy was curb stomped and given a scripted injury. When he returned in 2015, Orton continued his feud with Rollins, which resulted in Randy defeating him at WrestleMania 31. However, that same night, Rollins cashed in to become the champion, and Randy wanted a shot at the belt, though it was unsuccessful on multiple occasions. In September of 2015, Orton began a feud with the Wyatt family, and eventually teamed up with Dean Ambrose and Roman Reigns. However, just a short while later, Orton was pulled from action after suffering another shoulder injury. Most recently, Orton has been scheduled to appear at Battleground to talk about his upcoming return against Brock Lesnar at SummerSlam, and was drafted to SmackDown as per the 2016 WWE Draft. And there you go, Wrestling Origins, Randy Orton. I know I just skim over certain sections for the sake of time, so if I left out anything you think is significant, then let me know down below. As always, thanks for watching.